Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, in today's video, we will see how to update the diagonal values from a list in PySpark. In the previous video, we have seen how to get the, I mean how to fetch the diagonal values from a list for example if in this case we have we have seen how to fetch the diagonal values i will give that video uh, link in the i button in case if you wanted to see first you can please go ahead so in this video uh, continuation for that we will see how to update the values in the diagonals okay so friends for that i have created one data frame this way like first I have taken some random data with some students uh, details and I have first created the RDD out of it using the parallelize method and then I have created a student DF using the create data frame by passing this RDD okay now I am using the show truncate fall so that I wanted to see the entire uh, column from this marks column entire data from this marks column okay so now friends this is the original data you can read this as a file as well okay this is another way of doing so i just took this way so now if you see here um subject marks and everything it is there so the student details are mentioned here and for example this these are the marks from one of the exams and after that they have written some uh, improvement exams or maybe uh, like we will have usually in college uh, we will have some extra exams where we can write the improvements for any of the sub subjects right or we can get some second chance for some exam or something we wanted to update that latest test results and we wanted to update that right so in such cases we can use this and also maybe for example if you, you have some prizes the prizes for example gold prize or something related to such files are there then gold price will be changing day to day so if at all you have that gold prizes in the list and you have the latest value in a column so corresponding to that diagonal value you should be able to change the diagonal using this code okay so now let's start first to start to understand the diagonal we need to know that which one is the diagonal position for each of this row which means that english uh, marks are present in the uh, here 0 8th position and then first position we have hindi next sanskrit marks are present in the third position which is the second position and maths marks are present in the third which is uh, fourth okay i mean i am starting with zero so that's why i am saying three here and science in four social in sixth position so for getting that position i am using window function okay first i am uh, creating one window specification which says that window dot window we have to import this uh, code for using the window window dot partition by in the partition by i am using serial number and serial name because i wanted to partition by that two columns and i wanted to order it by subject number okay because that's when we will exactly when you use the order by only we will come to know from where they have we have to start numbering this one so based on that same position we can fetch or update the diagonals so after creating like i am using the row number function and over i am passing this window spec here so and uh, usually row number will start from 1 whereas our list will start with the position 0 so i am uh, like uh, subtracting 1 from the row number and when i do show you can see the for the same data above red data row number column is has been added with the row number details so now let's say we have to add that improvement marks is the column name i have taken here but you imagine okay based on your requirement where the latest data is present from where you need to copy into this 
list of values okay so for that i am taking some improvement marks and let's say we uh, like um, we will have for this particular uh, see a student he might have written only two to three subjects improvement right so i am say i am using one when condition if the subject equal to english then update that with 91 and he has taken maths exam as well for improvement so if the subject equal to maths then keep it as 88 and also when subject equal to science keep it as 89 okay populate as 89 otherwise zero zero means what is it, it he has not taken the improvement examination for this so the marks for hindi sanskrit and social will remain the same so here why i have taken like the data like this is let's say we have we have the uh, requirement like when there is a value then only we have to update otherwise we don't want to update so for such con uh, con covering such kind of corner cases i have taken this condition and adding that value here and also how we can add two statements like we have to take greater than 0 then only we can update the values properly in this diagonals right so for that reason i have taken zero here and i have updated values wherever required so now you can see this data frame is created with improvement marks column and he has taken three improvement exams so the three marks are updated here and for the rest of the columns we have rest of the rows for subjects actually it is zero okay now coming to the condition like how can we uh, like uh, uh, take care of this how can we update us of this right so first what i am doing that is i am writing a when condition where the position of that particular marks is equal to row number and improvement marks is greater than 0 as we discussed here we have to update only when the, it is greater than 0 correct so for that reason i have added this when condition and i will be passing this when condition variable to inside this when that i will explain you so now this imp df is the df that we have created here with the improvement marks so now for that df i am saying that select serial number this first column serial name subject number subject and this marks right i am saying that to take that as a post explode why i have used with this position explode means i have to get the position so that i can compare that with row number and i can update accordingly correct for example for this the if you say position so this 1 2 3 4 5 6 elements are there in this list so the first this 6 will be divided as six six rows you can you can just do this select and also and uh, when you are practicing you can see that this post explode will create six rows with the same data you can actually understand if you just do in such a such a way if you practice you will clearly understand how it works and you can also see that one more column called pos will be created when you use this post explode which means that position so why we have used in uh, post explode instead of explode is we need that position so that under that position we can compare that with the row number and we can update in the correct position because it's very important to update in the appropriate subject place with the improvement marks okay so now uh, uh, then after that we have row number and improvement mark so i am having all these things in in the select and then i am creating one temporary column saying that uh, col you can give any name so when i am saying that when if the position equal to row number and improvement marks are greater than 0 then take the column from take the data from improvement marks you got it right for example for this position position equal to 0 row number equal to 0 and it is greater than 0 right so this 99 will be taken to this position and similarly if you come here right 0 and this is first position which is actually e equal to the row number in the condition like this condition right i am talking about so here 1 and 1 are matching 
but this condition is not matching because here we are checking if improvement marks are greater than 0 this is not greater than 0 so here there will not be any update and similarly in the third row it will check for 2 for the second position and because when we do the post explode it will have the 2 here you can actually check that so this 98 will again check for this which is the position is 2 and the row number is 2 matching but this is not matching so it will not update anything in this record as well and here the position is 3 row number is 3 which is matching and improvement marks are greater than 0 so this detail will be updated in this list and you will be able to see for the marks this new improvement marks will be updated so now this is what we have done in the when condition and what i am saying is otherwise we have to like as i said uh, if it's uh, this condition is getting satisfied then update with improvement marks otherwise you have to keep it as is correct so otherwise keep it as column this column is nothing but this column this entire list okay now uh, we have like i said this pause explode when you do it will create how many number of elements are present in this list for in this case it is six it will create six rows so we should not be having six rows for each subject we should be having only one row for that reason i am taking group by here in the group by i am mentioning what all details that i need which are like serial number serial name subject number and subject because the other thing we already have it in the select statement it will be populated with the updated marks column because here we have taken this call right in the select and here even though it is called we need it with the marks column name right so and as you know group by should be written along with the aggregate function i am using the collect list why because the pause explode would have created multiple rows for each element we have to put it back as a list so that we can come to the initial position of this marks column so this collect list will make the number of rows it takes the data and it makes as a list and now i am saying that from column whatever we have created here right for adding that when condition so this column value i am saying that alias it to marks means change rename the column to column from call to marks and then show you understood right and once i query that execute that you can see we have this output resultant data frame which says serial number serial name subject number and subject and if you notice for english rest all are same but only the val this value is 95 91 91 is updated under the english which is the 0th position and hindi if you see you can see there is no change 89 67 98 34 67 and 55 and similarly for sanskrit also there is no change for maths if you can see this is where it is changing 88 because this is we are asking that to change it populate for maths and similarly for science this is the value we are populating and for social again we will populate with 50, no no we will not change anything okay so that's why 89 67 98 34 and 67 55 has come so now with this we will be we have seen how to populate the diagonal values correct now again we can actually take the diagonal values using the get item that we have seen in the previous video as well like i will see if i have it here yeah we have it here so after updating this what okay first i need to create this
this is created and now row number is getting created the same the just now we discussed with the, the, the same commands I am executing again ok now I am executing this final condition so that the respective values are updated now this test df I am taking and I am saying that you update this anyway we don't have row number here so let me remove so individual marks column as marks get item yeah because it doesn't have row number right because of that reason it is erroring ok maybe we should add row number but I doubt let me check it ok now it works ok and now let's drop the row number as well now you can see the in the, the marks in English 91 Hindi 67 Sanskrit 98 Maths 88 Science 89 and Social 55 whereas in the initial data frame we were having 89 67 98 something like that right so now you can see the marks latest marks are updated so this is how we can update the diagonal with any of the value that we wanted to populate and we can get back to that individual I mean instead of uh, list is very confusing right so now we can have these kind of individual marks list ok you can apply the same uh, logic for wherever you have to update the diagonal values actually we can do this using python udfs as well but because it will go through the python workers which wouldn't go through under uh, this uh, catalyst optimizations and all right so it's better to perform these things in the pyspar code itself okay hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you